Hi, I am Harish Gurjeti. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we will continue our discussion about AWS organizations. Um, I believe this will be the final uh, video for this particular um, you know series. Um, so what we are going to talk about today is service control policies. Um, so service control policies as the name suggests it really helps you restrict what you can do with specific services or all services within a region or sorry for a specific account or an organizational unit so today we are going to go ahead and i'll show you a service control policy how we create i mean we can create a service create policy then how it how we can apply it or attach it to an organization unit or an account and then how to will verify whether the policy is working or not so let's dive right in so i am in aws organizations uh, screen at this time um, so when you um, expand sorry click on aws accounts you have all these accounts now i have um, let's go to policies and the first thing to do uh, with service control policies is to make sure it is enabled um, i believe in in the previous session i i already showed you how to enable these services if you haven't watched uh, my previous videos on AWS organizations uh, click on the link above and you will be able to watch all the videos on AWS organizations so now so let's click on service control policies the default policy like where it says the AWS managed policy this one comes by default and we can't do uh, we can't change it uh, we can't go ahead and uh, do any additions uh, or basically we can't edit this policy uh, it is always available so now what I am doing is I added a new policy I will go over the policy in detail uh, what what basically the policy says is deny all outside India right so what what I am saying here is um, you know for for uh, for whatever account or OU that we attach this policy I want to prevent the users in that account to launch any services outside specific regions so here as you see it's, uh, this deny all outside eu effect effect is deny not allow so deny not action you know basically all the services that we want to deny launching right and resource condition string not equals requested region ap south one and ap south two ap south one uh, is Mumbai and uh, episode two is uh, is uh, Hyderabad. So, with, if you are if the user, I mean, who, who wherever which are account we attach it or OU we attach it, all the users in that account, even if they go ahead and try to uh, and uh, activate a service from a different region, it won't work. So that is the whole intention. So that is so what we are doing here is we are controlling all services with one policy for a specific organization unit or account so once you have this the the policy what we what we go ahead and do is sorry uh, we pick the policy we pick the policy click on attach so what we want to attach it to is the shared infrastructure OU so it will apply to all the accounts that are associated with this organizational unit so i'll go ahead and attach this policy before i attach uh, let me show you um, how this works so sorry let me go ahead and detach just to verify everything is working right so the policy is not attached now let me go back to the um, other here this is the the account uh, the shared infrastructure account and i have a, a iam user called infra admin i'm not virginia uh, right so let me switch to a different region and see what is coming right so if i switch to a different region i am able to let's say i want to go to ec2 in that particular region i'm able to see the information like instances running vp default vpc and stuff if I go to AP uh, South 1, again I'm able to see everything, right? So now let's go back and let's attach the the policy. Targets um, attach shared infrastructure attach policy. 
so now the policy is attached now let's go back to um, the browser so now I am in uh, Mumbai region so if I refresh I am able to see the default VPC details everything now let me switch back to US East and then see what happens see when we switch to US East it's not able to fetch the VPC details it's not able to do anything everything says API error and even if I switch to Ohio it's going to be the same thing but if I go to AP um, South 2 where is AP South 2 maybe it's not enabled for this yeah it's not enabled uh, let's over, uh, forget it um, but if I go to AP South 1 default VPC everything is working so as you see we can restrict uh, a specific service everything that has related to service at an organization unit level or an account level with service control policy so I can launch only uh, see details and do activities only within the region I am allowed to do and not not other things so this is a very good example on how to manage uh, your uh, your accounts uh, and let's say you have a team and um, you have a team um, in, in uh, let's say um, Asia some Asia region like the Singapore so you don't want them to create instances in Europe for example so you can do the same thing you can disable them from actually launching or viewing or doing anything related to any other activity related to uh, Europe region and focus only on their region so uh, I hope this video is useful do like this channel and subscribe to this channel because I'm going to share a lot of content on AWS um, so talk to you in the next video thank you